Hello, welcome to Fundamentals of Human Geography. I am Jeff Bings, your instructor for the next 16 weeks. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about the course to help you along in this first five day honeymoon, per honeymoon period. But I want you to know that my one main goal is that by the time we finish this course, you can look back and say, look back or say at the present time, this is one of my favorite courses I, I ever had in my college career. That's my goal. So again, welcome. And um, let me, before I take you to the Carl Albert webpage, hopefully you have had time now to uh, go to the course homepage, see the information that has been put there, and um, start to familiarize yourself with <clears throat> how the course homepage is laid out, where to find things, where to find assignments. And so let me take us there now, because I'm aware that some of you, this may be your first online course ever. And so let me take us now to the Carl Albert homepage, carlalbert.edu. Hopefully by now you have at least become familiar with the Carl, Carl Albert webpage. So if it's your first time to be on, uh, a, to take an online course, Carl, Carl Albert, uh, does their online college with the help of Blackboard. So on the home page, you'll see a left-hand menu, left-hand side menu, and you'll see right there in about the middle, Blackboard. So click on Blackboard. And it will then take you to this screen, which you will have to put your credentials in, username, password, then you will hit continue. And uh, now it will take you to a page that you're going to see here is called stream. This is the activity stream. This is kind of like um, an announcement page. It tells you what assignments what assignments you have upcoming in each of your classes. It tells you when new assignments have been posted or opened up. And so you wanna pay attention to the activity stream. Now to get to the course, you're gonna go over here once again to the left-hand side and hit courses. And it will bring up all of the online courses you are presently taking. You're gonna to wanna to find Fundamentals of Human Geography and click on that. When you click on that, it's gonna take you to our course homepage. And once you're here, you will arrive at the welcome page. You'll see this big CASC online symbol. And I have designed it to where you'll see this big hello and start here image. Start here. Here is your welcome message from me to Fundamentals of Human Geography. Please read that. And it will give you some more prompts of where to go. And I wanted to simply highlight that 
of major importance to check out is the I need help folder, start working folder, and the syllabus. All of your work folders will be, again, on the left-hand side. Here you see syllabus, start working, I need help. The syllabus is basically the contract that we have with each other for the class. It has information about policies that are important to Carr Albert, policies that I have for the class. It has a course schedule and it has all the information, how to contact me, when to contact me, textbook, all of those things. The start working folder is simply the folder where you will go to start doing your assignments. And then the I need help folder has uh, nine different items in it to help you. For example, I want you to do all of your assignments in MLA format. So I, ha I have put a link in the I need help folder to a free online MLA guide. I also have a link to a free online document converter. So if you need to convert from, for example, from PDF to a Word doc, you can use that free online um, converter to do that. So make sure you try to read through all the course. And as you're going to see, there is a 15 point honeymoon bonus that will basically uh, have questions about the course homepage and the syllabus and all of those things. So the syllabus, the start working tab and the I need help folder, be very familiar with those. Now, I, uh, this class is broken up into what we call modules. Think of a modular house. Usually there's two halves that travel from the, the, the company where you purchase the home to your, to your home site. And then the two halves are put together into one home. It's a modular home. Our class is going to be modular in that there's going to be four modules. There's 28 days in each module. And uh, each module will cover, for our textbook, it's very, very convenient, three chapters a module. But module one will not be available until. Sunday night, August 21st. What I have provided is a five day honeymoon period in which you can familiarize yourself with the course, the materials, the assignments, the way it's set up and all of those things. Now there is a course calendar in your syllabus. So I'm gonna open the syllabus. And the calendar is all the way at the bottom for the schedule, scheduler calendar. You can see August 17th to the 21st, five day honeymoon period. Then on Monday the 22nd, we will actually start module one. <clears throat> now you will only have access to module one I will not open up module two until the night before it's scheduled. The assignments for each module are designed to where you can work at your own pace. So there will be four assignments in each module and then a test. And there's four different due dates for those four assignments. 
you have to turn them in, of course, by the due dates to get full credit. But you can work at your own pace so that if you're an overachiever, you're a, you're a go-getter, you can turn in assignments early. Now, if you do not get an assignment in on time, you can still turn it in before the end of the module. But after the module ends, it's too late unless there's some kind of emergency circumstance. So for example, you will have a discussion question in module one. And uh, let's just say it's due August 26th. But you don't get it in by August 26th. You can still turn it in before the end of the module, which I believe is September, around September 12th. You can still turn it in before then and get partial credit. But after the end of module one, you won't get any credit for it. Again, unless it's for an emergency circumstance. So, the honeymoon bonus is worth 15 points. So if you do that, you've already started ahead with 15 points. Now, there's something else that I wanted to show you very quickly. I know that Fundamentals of Human Geography doesn't sound like a thrilling class. For many of you, it might be a elective that you're just taking to get an elective out of the way. For some of you, you're like, what is Fundamentals of Human Geography? Well, I'm sure you're familiar with the topic of just plain geom geography, things that deal with the types of elements and surfaces with the earth. You have mountains, valleys, plains, plateaus, rolling hills. You have deserts, tropical forests, lush timber lands, oceans, lakes and ponds. We have rivers and streams. Maybe if you're from the East Coast, you have a brook instead of a stream. Here in Oklahoma, we have a creek or a creek. Also in Oklahoma or on the earth specific, on the earth generally, we have types of weather. We have snow and rain and sunshine, fog and hurricanes and tornadoes. These are all parts of geography. So with that in mind, human geography is basically looking at all of the elements in human life, human culture or, or humanity. You have human geographies of urban setting, cities, rural settings or the countryside. You have human geographies of culture, folk culture, popular culture. You have human geographies of um, manufacturing, agriculture, Silicon Valley, you have human, human geographies of tourism, human geographies of government, human geographies of, of climate change, um, global warming. There are a lot of human geographies. Religion is a human geography. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this course. I think you'll enjoy it the way that I've set it up. 
And I think you'll find it very, very interesting and very, very relevant to life today. One last thing, since I live in Oklahoma and, and Carl, Carl Albert is in Oklahoma, and I know several of you will be in Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma will be our laboratory. No, you don't have to come on another day and log in and be a part of a lab. But a lot of the assignments that I have assigned are using places in Oklahoma, kind of like a laboratory. Now, lest you're thinking, well, Oklahoma is a pretty boring state. It's flatlands. Of course, those of us here in eastern Oklahoma know better than that. But maybe you're not from Oklahoma and you've always thought of Oklahoma as a flatland where Indians still roam the plains. But did you know, if, if you look on the screen here, Oklahoma is among the most geographically diverse states in the country. It is only one of it is one of only four states to have 10 distinct ecological regions. So in terms of regular earth geography, Oklahoma is very diverse, but we are diverse in a lot of human geographies. Our history is filled with Native American people, Native American culture, um, African American culture, as well as European culture. European peoples. Um, we are also known for a lot of tourism, and you're going to see that. So, uh, and there's many other things. Um, economic culture, we have natural gas and oil. Uh, so, Oklahoma is a very diverse state. It's going to be a perfect. Uh, perfect subject to use as a laboratory in our human geography class. So welcome once again to the class. Be very thorough in exploring the course website. Take advantage of that bonus and get those 15 points. And be uh, stay tuned for more of these video messages from me to help us along the, the way. I want to try to make it more personal than just, rather than just being through a computer. One final thing I will say is I do have two office hours, Mondays from three to four. And of course you have to reach me through texting or phone call or email. But if you contact me from uh, on Monday from three to four, I will be online watching and will respond immediately. Also on Thursdays from 6 to 7 p.m., same way, except I'm going to be doing this right here, what we're doing, Zoom. So you can still email me or text me or call me, but you can also log in to my Zoom address and talk to me face to face. Thursdays, six to seven. And I'll be able to answer you immediately. Otherwise, um, my responses to you will be within a few hours to several hours, maybe on to the next day. So have a great uh, honeymoon period preparing for the class. If you have any questions, again, email me, text me, call me. Then I will see you at the next video.